It's the first week of September, my favourite month for sea fishing, and I'm heading back to one of my favourite venues, Christchurch Harbour. I'm determined to leave the mullet alone and target the bass with a fly rod. I tied that during lockdown. It's uh, tied on a jig head because it's very weedy and I'm sometimes fishing in about eight inches of water that's just absolutely thick with weed along the bottom. So that's the thinking behind that. Whether it will work or not, I don't know. And um, two foot up the line, um, I'm using seven pound line, which is very light, I know, but I've got a booby on a dropper about two feet away, going on to 12 and then 18. It's about a 14 foot leader. And I'm using a slime line just to get beneath that chop that I think I'm going to have out on the water. A floating line is just going to get pushed about all over the place in this wind. One of the reasons why Christchurch is such a popular kayak fishing venue is because you've got Maresmead Car Park that actually has a public slipway on it for launching the kayak. Although the weather forecast was good, I was expecting it to be like previous visits when I'd successfully targeted the mullet with baited spinners and more recently when I was trying to suss out the bass with uh, lures. The weather actually turned out to be a lot more windy than I thought it was going to be. Having failed on two occasions with a fly rod, it didn't fill me with much hope. <sighs> Trying to keep this boat steady is proved to be an absolute nightmare. I don't believe it, I've actually hooked one. <laughs> the, the leader's got stuck in the eye. Lesson learned. To finally catch something here on a fly rod, having flogged out in competitions previously. I'm over the moon with that, even though it's tiny. Right. Happy as an eel in a pipe. Tied that during lockdown and I've caught fish on it, which is great. It's not like my warm hands, but they are wet. Barbless hook. I need a really fast retrieve to get those takes. Well, I can't cast in this position, there's no point taking risks. Don't want those flies hitting you in the back of the head or puncturing a dry suit. Instead of trying to find shelter from the wind, I have a change of strategy. I anchor up and try and use the wind to my advantage. Fish number three, a change of location, and it's another tiny one, but it's cool. Ow. Worth it. They're getting bigger on the booby. That's a great splash as it took it. This water's really moving now. It's really using that current. Blimey, if a fish this size pulls this hard, I dread to think two or three pound bass would do. Definitely getting bigger, this is cool. He's thrown the hook. Pumped his gills right out and his spine. Best days fishing I've had for a long time. Not huge bass, of course, but let's catch it on the fly by myself. It's so rewarding. An incisor. Wicked. Now that was seriously good fun. Gave me a, a knuckle wrap on the on the reel. Sort the glasses out. Hey! Well pleased. That is awesome. Really pleased with that. 
beautiful. And that was on the uh, that bigger point fly. Right, let's get back. There he goes. Sweet. Uh, bass. Bass. Yeah. Had, any? had a few. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's That's good fun. Great. Every car side of my pedal drive. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's off. <laughs> That's a good one as well. So it's shallow enough for me to stand up, but if I do stand up, I'll probably sink into about three foot of mud. So about a foot deep. I'm sure this, um, oh, there we go. <laughs> that's another bit ways off. That jig fly is working a treat with all this weed that's coming through. Ooh, completely weed free. I'm getting tired. Oh, I missed him. No, I didn't. It's a little bit. <laughs> Must have had about 30 of these little ones now. That was me getting all excited about catching one at the beginning. Perhaps I'll have to take that booby off. That's a bit of fish. This is great fun. The thing I've enjoyed about today is seeing some old faces as well. It's nice to share the pleasure. I've got a feeling that Sam Baxter has fallen asleep, as is, that is his trademark. I think he's woken up though to find himself in the middle of a mud flat with no water. Yeah, for about four and a half months. Was it? It looked pretty big from. Four, four and a half. Yeah, lovely. Good to see you, Mark. I'm off. Are you? Yeah. Radio, good to see you.